But to teach on something is not to try to get somebody's stuff. No, if you do, you're wrong. Amen. It's the truth, ain't it, Brother Herb? And so you don't do that. You don't do it. You teach on giving. You tell people to give. Not to you. Now, if you've got a ministry, surely the goodness people know. And it's good ground. They know they can sow into that ministry. Surely they know that. Surely you don't have to tell them that. But don't tell them to do that. Say, give. Plenty of ministries, good ministries around. Do what God says this is for your benefit. Quit preaching on giving for your benefit. That's not right. Now is it? Jesus, when he taught on it, he said, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. Men, men, men. That's what that's primarily how God works. Men will do it. What do you mean by that? Oh, I got another job. Well, thank God. Men will give into my bosom. Yeah. Got a better job. Oh, men will give unto my bosom. Or people will just give to you, but it will come through people. God said they will they will bless you. You have been you doing what God said to do. Amen. You see somebody in need, you help them. God will see that it comes back to you. And especially when God speaks to you. Especially when God speaks to you. And don't let that go. Now there's all kinds of times to give and all kinds of ways to give, but when God speaks to you, and you know it right in here, oh, you get on that quick. Be quick to do. Don't be slow about it. I mean, Brenda went to a church one night and the preacher was up there and he was 90 some years old and he's in good health and he's a fine man, been preaching all those years. That's, that's awesome, man. 90 some years old, Herb, and act like a just, just great. The Lord really blessed him. He said, I've come to meet your need. Will you meet mine? Well, I heard that. Is, is, you might as well just put a, a, a dirt plug right in. And if, I, if it wasn't for interrupting the man, and I, this is the first time I'd been over and seen him. If it wasn't for just interrupting him and being rude, I'd have said, yeah, I hear you. Yes, I will. What is it? I'll meet that need. Amen. Praise God. God spoke that right into my heart. I heard him. I heard him. Now, I don't know if anybody else heard him or not. I don't know if anybody else done anything. I don't know if they cared. That's none of my business. Because he said it. I heard it. I said, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll meet your need. Amen. This is a man of God. Honored God with his life. You got that right. Better watch what you say. Amen. Amen. You'll get it. Right. Amen. And we went back over in a day or two and brought him a good little blessing. Amen. <laughs> now that ain't no, listen, I'm just saying when God speaks to you, don't, don't put that off. You know when God's speaking to you about giving. And if he can talk to you about giving, he can talk to you about a whole lot of other things. Right. Glory to God. Yes, he will. And he will. He will. Amen. Brother Cap said one time, said, Lord said, don't you send so-and-so some money? He said, I will. He said, and he said, I will. A little bit later on, just maybe the same day, he said, I want you to send so-and-so some money. He said, I will. He said, no, right now. Right now. This is urgent. Right now. Well, you know what? If we, if we, could, if we could look into the spiritual world, just pull the curtains back and look. God's tried to speak to someone else and they wouldn't obey him. God has tried to then had to speak to someone else and they wouldn't obey him. And finally he's got to someone that is going to obey him but now I've been dealing with these guys and they're not doing it. I need you to do that right now. Do it. Do it. 
Somebody said, I don't believe that. Well, believe what you want. Believe what you want. Praise God. God is awesome, ain't he?